combination with chemotherapy. Um, most of these are used either singly or in combination CTL, uh, anti-CTLA-4 uh, with several of these other dr uh, drugs for a wide variety of cancers, including a tumor agnostic indication. This is the most fascinating thing of, of, of all of these drugs. They are approved for cancer, not a tissue uh, origin cancer, any cancer that displays a high um, mutation rate, and they have um, uh, pathways uh, such as mismatch repair and microsatellite instability that can, they can identify them. Now, there are data, and growing data, that these checkpoint pathways are actually involved in the pathogenesis of uh, our diseases. Um, and uh, uh, we know that from preclinical modeling, um, animals that lack these checkpoints either die of fulminant death or of autoimmune disease, and uh, uh, in human disease, there are growing data to suggest that defective checkpoints are involved in early rheumatoid arthritis, some beautiful work on uh, synovial translational biology from last year, um, and uh, giant cell arthritis from Connie Wayan. And I saw that Jack tweeted out this morning these um, Asians who uh, have correlated soluble PD-1 with disease activity in um, uh, ANCA-associated vasculitis. So I think this is a fruitful area for, for us. But now let's talk about what we came to talk about, and those are the diseases. This is uh, from the article that I um, passed out to you, which is uh, all of uh, uh, about uh, f six months old, and it's just about out of date. Uh, so uh, you can uh, take it for what it's worth. But this shows that virtually every organ system um, can be affected by immune-related adverse event from these therapies. Um, nothing is sacrosanct. Uh, in the pink, we have outlined those 